A SpaceX Starlink cell service milestone has just been reached and shocking news about a Tesla phone. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today, we have a little bit of misty morning and focus combination. The zing, the zing of the peppermint and bergamot. So good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology day. We'll be talking about SpaceX and a major milestone that was just reached over there with their Starlink service. Actually, their cell service which is quite amazing. Now, there's been other companies that have done this cell thing for emergency purposes, like Global Star over there with Apple, but SpaceX Starlink is gonna take that to the next level with their LEO satellites and many of them. Anyways, I wanna get into this with you. Also, I was watching one of the Diablo 4 live streams with Elon Musk the other night, about a week ago now or so, and there was something that was revealed about the Tesla phone, and I wanna bring that to you. I found it shocking. I'll give you that information before the end of this video. There is an article that was written over on PC Magazine, I wanna go through some of that with you, that talks about this cellular service that SpaceX Starlink is offering. That cell to sat service is what it's actually called. So before we get into this article, I wanna say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, consider doing so, they are free just for you being here. Go to jchristina.com forward slash books. Also, if you enjoy this content, find it useful or maybe just entertaining, throw it a thumbs up. That would be very helpful, very helpful. Also, if you're not subscribed, consider doing so. If you are, thank you. I appreciate it. Click this little notification button over here so when I go live, when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. If you wanna say thank you for all of my hard work on this channel, there's a little thank you button right down here. You can click on that, give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member. That would be even better. And finally, if you're looking for more Starlink content like this, I put together a playlist. I'll put a little link over here. That playlist has over 300 videos about SpaceX Starlink, how to's, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, how to do it, and most importantly, the why behind everything. Because this channel has always been about the why. So click on this when you're done watching the video. Not now, when you're done, go click over there. Anyways, let's jump right into this article. It says SpaceX plan to supply cellular service through its Starlink satellites has reached a new milestone. More than 100 direct to sell satellites in orbit. Over 100 guys, 100. Just think about that, a very short period of time, they already have 100 in orbit. On Wednesday, the company launched another group of Starlink satellites, 13 of them meant to power the cellular Starlink service, which will deliver text, data, as well as voice to unmodified smartphones on the ground. SpaceX has been sending up direct to sell satellites since January, and the full count now stands at 103. 103 since January, what is that, seven months? I mean, it's crazy how fast they've put so many satellites in orbit that are specific. Remember, these satellites have E-node Bs built into it. Basically what that means in short is that it turns the satellite into a cell tower, something like you would see down the road from you. So you have a cell tower instead of a couple of miles away, you have a cell tower in orbit that is 530 kilometers away and it still works. The article continues, Senior Director Sarah Spangello says that the company plans on launching hundreds more later this year. This is what she wrote in a post on X. With over 100 direct-to-sell satellites now launched and hundreds more planned to be launched this year. Excited to provide ubiquitous connectivity to our customers starting with T-Mobile in the US this year. Now that's T-Mobile for the US, it's Rogers in Canada. There is about seven or eight companies that will be using this service. The ambitious launch schedule is necessary since SpaceX Cellular Starlink system aims to start serving T-Mobile customers as soon as this fall. A month ago, SpaceX's VP of Engineering, Michael Nichols, indicates that the company needs about 300 direct-to-sell satellites in orbit before it can begin serving users with robust enough coverage. 
In a letter to the FCC last month, the company also noted, quote, SpaceX is pleased to report that its tests of its direct-to-sell system have met or exceeded all testing objectives, demonstrating that the system remains on track to offer commercial service in the United States this year. The tests, which have occurred in various locations across the U.S., have yielded a download rate as high as 17 megabits per second. The space-based cellular coverage has also worked on various phone models, including Samsung's Galaxy, Apple iPhone, and the Google Pixel device. SpaceX still needs FCC approval before operating the cellular Starlink service with T-Mobile. There's also no word about how much cellular Starlink service will cost customers as of yet. However, the technology promises to help users receive broadband data in cellular dead zones, usually in rural and remote regions with limited access to ground-based networks. This is very important. I've always said that this kind of service, once they have a let's say visual behind it, and it's not just texting and it becomes a video-based type of technology, you're looking at being able to use this on the ground in, let's say, war-stricken areas where there is no cell coverage, maybe in disaster-stricken areas where there is no cell coverage because there's outages, power outages, there's no cell towers, there's nothing. And you'd be able to use this video type of conference call using just a direct to sell type of service for doing triage, let's say, to victims or whatnot. So there's a lot of functionality that can be provided, as well as I've talked about something similar with the SpaceX Starlink Mini version. The article finalizes with rivals, including AST Space Mobile and Apple's partner, Global Star, just talked about them a second ago, have also been working on offering similar service. In SpaceX's case, the company plans to support text messages before enabling voice and data by 2025. Well, it's going to be 2024 when we see texting from SpaceX Starlink. And then 2025, we're going to see them roll into making a phone call. And then finally, I believe it's going to be 2026 when we see data, meaning that you'll be able to make a video call direct to satellite. Now, he just tested this not that long ago, a few weeks ago, and it worked. It looked kind of crappy, but remember, this is like two years out before it's going to be a thing. So we see that it works already with their 17 megabits down. Now, once again, 17 megabits seems like not a lot and it kind of isn't. But if you think about it, if you're able to make a phone call with it, that's awesome. But then to make a video call with your phone and be able to see the person, even if it's at 320p or 480p instead of 1080p or 4k who really cares you don't need it to be that detailed when you're making a phone call right even a little tiny thumbnail is good enough you can actually see the person so i think that this is going to be really really big now it says apple has been offering customers this emergency texting service for a few years now which is also going through that global star network and that's what i was saying earlier so I think this is going to be revolutionary. And I really do believe that once this is out there, once again, not only the Starlink minis, but this service, that direct to sell service, um, I think is going to be revolutionary, not just for the US, right? For you and I or whatever, but for the entire globe. Emergency services are just going to love this. Absolutely love it. Once again, you're not going to just simply be able to text, I am here, and they're like, where are you, <laughs> right? You'll be able to do a video call and be like, I am here. You know, and they'll be able to do GPS location on you and be able to get to a, let's say, a first responder to be able to rescue you. So there's a lot of cool things that can be done with this and being able to have that service on your phone, an unmodified phone. You don't have to buy a special uplink or a special sat phone. Do you remember the sat phones way back in the day? They were like, $1,000, $1,500, now they're cheaper, but they were that much and the service was about the same. Well, this is your sat phone now or very soon. Now, at the beginning of the video, I said that there was some shocking news from Elon Musk about a Tesla phone. Well, I was watching a four or five hour live stream. Now, if you don't know, Elon Musk is a gamer, right? And one of his favorite games is Diablo 4. So when he's not trying to get to Mars and all the rest of the stuff with all of his companies and working, 
His recreational time is spent gaming, and he's been streaming Diablo 4 live and taking questions for many, many months, and there's something that came out during like hour three or something of this live stream that I was watching. And there was tons of questions that came through, but one question really stuck and rung home to me. And I said, oh my God, I cannot believe this. Someone asked the question, when will they see a Tesla phone or will there be a Tesla phone available? And he immediately said without hesitation, no. So I've been talking about this Tesla phone or a Pi phone or an X phone for quite some time. And I said, you know what guys, if they were to come out with a Tesla phone or an X phone or a Pi phone or whatever today, I would buy three of them, one for me, one for my wife, one for my youngest son. And uh, that would be it. I would take my iPhone and live stream me crushing it under my car, running it over. Okay. That's just how I feel about the Apple products, right? I just would like to move on, not a fan of the Google Pixel and some of the other Android phones. I hope that they get better. But like I said, if Elon came out with a phone, I would buy it right away and crush the Apple phone and do it live. And now I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm kind of sad about this. <sighs> Elon, just make a damn phone. Have someone else make it and put your name on it, all right? And just simply make it better. These are rocket scientists over there, so to make a better phone probably wouldn't be that far of a stretch, but maybe it includes um, XAI into it or something like that. Just simply make it better. Um, but it's not gonna happen. Once again, sadly, it's not gonna happen. But at any rate, SpaceX's Starlink cellular service will be available by the end of this year. And it is said that they're gonna have over 300 satellites in orbit. Right now they have 103. That means that they have to put 200 more satellites into orbit by the end of this year. Is that a problem? Absolutely not. They will definitely have them there in time. That means T-Mobile will have that cellular service from SpaceX Starlink by fall as what they indicate. And as far as the phone goes, we can only hope. Maybe he will change his mind. But as of right now, there's no Tesla phone, X phone, or Pi phone, or anything from Elon Musk, sadly. It's very sad. Anyways, what do you think? Are you interested in this cell to sat service? Are you interested in Elon Musk eventually putting out a phone? Would you buy one of those phones if he did? Would you use this cell to sat service? Is this something that is of interest to you? It is interesting to me. Once again, down below, let's have this conversation. And if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. Just put an emoji down there. Put a poop emoji. I'll be good with that. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed the content, throw it a thumbs up. That'll be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools and my merch and my shirts and my cups and my book and all of my other products. Take a look at them. If there's something of interest to you, please pick it up and help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.